me, Joey. Come on, I got something. Who? Joey. Open up, will you? Subject, apprehension of five for criminal possession of stolen property at 618 West 101 Street. One attempting to flee, also charged with maintaining, surrendered at the sincere persuasion by Detectives Isaacs and Massey. Didn't you take the last collar? What, two vagrants? Hey, somehow that ain't the same thing, you know? All right, I owe you. Girl Stoneface, I have to say. Oh, Valentine, he even smiled. Oh, he smiled. And did he say that he'd mention us in his report? Well,
I got a shot to take him, Central. Central, I got a shot. Central! These things never work. Get it in. You're going to be all right. I got my gun. Oh, no. It's right here. Oh. 25. They shot me with it. Okay, you guys. Downstairs. What is this? What's going on here? Who are you? I'm Vice Consul Luber. See the detective in there. Luber, the fourth away. I set up against the wall. Go! Well, what do you think you're doing here? Let's get out of here. I'm Vice Consul Luber in charge of this consulate. I don't care who you are. Get him out of here! We got him, Collar. I think we got him all. There's no sign of the gun. Check the roof in the basement. Though. And where's that ambulance? Right. I demand that you leave at once. You are my country's territory. Get out, Ben. Get out of here! We'll see who'll get out. Get me the U.S. State Department. <laughs> Somebody will, but not you. Why not? Look, Isaacs, I know how you feel. You ride with a man for maybe six, seven years, eight. You get to feel like brothers, but this is no family here. This is a patent tank coming down the hill at me. And I'm not standing in its way. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I, I missed a war here somewhere. Spell it out for me. Simple. The consulate case is out of our hands. Transferred to federal agencies. By order 
of half a dozen people whose names you read about every day. What do they want? A cover-up? I don't know. Well, somebody should know. Somebody should care. Oh, they care, Isaacs. They care. They care about things like... Why did the New York Police Department bust into a foreign consulate and violate diplomatic rights? Some are even predicting that your little caper just might set off a wave of invasions of U.S. consulates around the world. Look, we didn't bust in for caviar. There was a cop in trouble. What cop? You were in there, weren't you? Did you find a cop? Did you find anything that looked like one? Hmm? No, but if you, if you check around, if I checked. Every borough commanding the city. There's not a cop unaccounted for. Not even those on vacation. So, your cop in trouble seems to have been a crank caller. There was no 1013. You got that, Isaacs? No 1013. Case closed. Mr. Detective Squad Room? What's your trouble, mister? My wife says she's going to kill me. Well, we only deal with crimes after they're committed. Come back when you're dead. <laughs> How are you, Bojack? Yeah, they don't have waitresses like that where I eat. Why, do you think she's something? Hey, you should see what they send me at night. Mrs. Link, age 57. Hey, hey. If you're going to work undercover with me, you can't give me up like that. Brought you something to read. Oh, hey, just what I need. Sports magazine, huh? Come huh? on, you embarrass the lady. Well, why not? She embarrasses me every morning. I'm used to her now. My darling, uh, would you get me and my friend some champagne? What kind? Prune juice or ginger ale? <laughs> Nurse, one patient, nothing. Come back here, you mutt. Just eat your string beans and dream. Without clam sauce? Hey, give me some clam sauce, will ya? <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, the usual. No, I mean the investigation. Oh, it's fine. Everything being taken care of. It's, and you just get well and get out of here. Mm. String beans. inside the council, but right? Who shot me? I don't know. 
Some kind of federal probe, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Hey, where are my friends? Where are you? What do you want me to do? I want you to help me find the guy that shot me, the guy with a scar in his hand. All you have to do is go into the consulate and grab him. We can't go into the consulate. Why not? No cops anywhere near that building without a superior officer. That's Valentine's orders. Valentine's orders? Now look, I left my arm in that place. You're telling me case closed? That's the way it is. Got my service revolver. Yeah. I want it. What for? I want it. You know you can't carry a gun when you're out sick. More rules, huh? I'm asking you for help and you're giving me rules. First the console, another gun? Are you okay? <coughs> Should I call somebody? I'll pass. Is there anything I can do? Kiss off. Kiss off! It's $780. But that's without transportation. Lou, is something the matter? No. If the meat's cold, I can read it back. So nothing's wrong. You know, seven hundred and eighty dollars is not very much. There are other camps that are much more expensive. Just a half year's payment on the car and a valve job. That's all. Look, it's got swimming, archery, horseback riding, hiking. He's dying to go. There are things I'm dying to do too. It'd be so nice for him out of the city next summer. So I'm the heavy, huh? I'm keeping him chained to the city streets, right? That's not what I said. That's what you meant. Look, we don't have to decide right away. Will you get off the camp bit, okay? What is today? All right, all right. What is it? Huh? It's Matthew again, right? How's he doing? He's hurting. He's angry. He wants help, but nobody can give it to him. Why not? downtown. They say, hands off. Well, I guess there's nothing you can do about it, right? No. I don't know. I don't know. Look, you know, that could be me. That could be me laying in that hospital bed. He pulled me out of that room! No, it's not going to help Rick if you lose your job. And I don't think he would want that, do you? Hello. Just a second. Hello. When? Holy... I'll be right down. Massey just busted out of the hospital.
Yes, yes. What did I do? Yeah, you know what this is all about. I ain't done nothing. Don't give me any bull. You're selling pieces. No! $30 special. Get up, I'm steer. Oh, yeah? We're going to see about that. Guido. Where are they, honey? Come on, honey. Make it easy on me, will you? Make it easy on yourself. says if he doesn't take his pills, the pain's going to be too much for him to handle. Crazy. Did you check the apartment? Three times. Oh, by the way, this is for you. It's a workup on that stick they found on the pier. until I can get you back. Will you tell me what good you think you're doing yourself? Hey, why don't you go home to your wife, huh? Ooh. You got a work up on a stiff they picked up a few days ago. A guy named Wakeman, Frederick Wakeman, age 52. He was killed, gunshot wounds, 25 caliber bullets. Check them out. Turns out he was a retired cop. Is it the 1013? Could be. What do we do about it? I don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. with my other arm like I was still there. There's pain there, you know. You can get these phantom pains. That's what the pills are for. You know this guy Wakeman? He was a widower. Sold 
sold his house about six months ago, moved to the city. Second Avenue. That's all I got on him so far, but must have had a job. I can check it out in the morning. I'm on late. in there from the library. Book lights. Give him a shot. I'm not going to go by it. I mean, it's good as new. Well, what can I do for you? Uh, Detective <coughs> Isaacs, I'd like to ask a few questions. Sure. What about? You had a man named Wakeman working for you. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Good man. But he's not with me anymore. Anything wrong? Yeah, he's dead. I'm sorry to hear about that. When did you see him last? Uh, a month ago. He said he wanted to go away for a couple of days and then, uh, he never came back. You have any enemies? What happened? He was murdered. Gee. What part of town did he work mostly? Uh, uh we worked all over Manhattan, Brooklyn, Bronx. Upper East Side? Sure. I think I bugged up there too, you know. Did he ever have trouble on the job? Scrapes with clients? No. Everybody liked him. Okay, uh, if you can think of anything else, I'd appreciate it if you call me. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that. Yeah, you can call me at this number any time, day or night. Sure will. Oh. All right, it's a raid. Hey, hey, hey Dickie, how, how are you doing, baby? Hey, look who's here. Hey, Young. How, how are you feeling? Fine, fine, how are you? Good. Hold on a minute, will you? Good. What is that, what is that? Disguise. Disguise, huh? Sure. Hello, Ram. How are you? Good. Very good. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to dip. Oh, your typing is terrible. I do better than you with one hand. Yeah, we spit. Hello, my man. Hey, Rick. How you doing, babe? All right. Can I help you? I'm supposed to have a couple of paychecks here. Hey, no work, no pay. <laughs> You're in my office, Rick. Check in the box. Not that I can blame you. I hate hospitals myself. I 
Have you thought about the future, Rick? Oh, yeah. All the time. Not that it matters. Thing like this, you'd be out in three quarters. Tax-free. That's more than you're making now. Add to that a nice hotel security job, which I can help arrange. You'll be living on Easy Street. Well, that's nice. Hey, look, can I have your checks now, huh? Certainly, Rick. They've been waiting right here for you. While you've been running around all over town like a crazy man, following people, shouldering punks, what's all of that supposed to accomplish? Not much, except maybe uh, find the guy that shot me and murdered Fred Wakeman. That's all. You still insist on linking those shootings together like he does? Now look, a retired cop was shot by 25, same as me. That's for ballistics to say. I don't need ballistics. I'll find them myself. Let me help him, Lieutenant. A couple of days. You've got to stick a job. Get moving. Wait a minute, I'll ride down with you. Massey. We're not finished yet. Just one reminder. You're on sick leave until your pension off. That means no official status, no investigations, no riding in department vehicles. And don't let me hear that you are being cured. We don't want to rock the boat on that pension. You gotta read that thing from right to left. Don't blow your cover. And listen, nobody moves till I give the word, right? Ten four. Hey, hello. Hey, your bird was right. I think we got a bust on Big Willie's bank. Hey, Nunes, will you tell Randy to stash that girly magazine? He's supposed to be orthodox. Lou, in the consulate thing, who's got the list? What list? Suspect list. You know, the guys that were in the consulate that day. Valentine's guy. I need it. I'm gonna stake them out, you know, look at their hands. Hey, Nunes. Is your antenna showing? Okay. Well? I told you, Valentine's got it. He's locked in his office. So? Well, he's gone by six, and you can do what you have to do. What do you want me to do? Break in and steal a file? Anything else I can do for you? You never find out. You go in there, make a copy, and you put it back. Come on, that's breaking and entering. Hey, not just me. I got a family. Comes Big Willie. Okay, everybody cool. That's the drop.
Are you uh, coming to bed? Oh, uh... What for the cookies? I thought you were going on a diet. Tomorrow. Mm. My husband, the cop. <laughs> and my mother wanted me to marry a dentist. Think of all the money you'd save on caps. So who has to smile? Not a cop's wife, that's for sure. I'm not complaining. I worry a lot, but I'm not complaining. They must owe you some days. Why don't we go up to the cabin? I gotta go out for a while, honey. You have to what? I'll be back before you know, honey, okay? No, it's not okay. What is it, Matthew again? Renee, he's my partner. He needs me. Yeah, I know he needs you, but I need you too. One night with my husband, is that asking too much? That's low calorie fat. Yeah. High protein carbohydrates.
Jan Chazel, Chazel, age 32, hair black, weight 165, height 5 foot 8, in high heels.
I'm going to go around back and see what's going on. Don't be a wise guy. Don't worry if I... I'll be careful. Satisfied, we are simply suspending all shipments from abroad. Uh, these will be the last until further notice. Delivery first of the month as usual. No, no, I want it today, tonight if possible. Eight o'clock? Yeah, that'll be fine. Just sign the delivery. Pier 22. You don't listen good.
sell pencils for all I care. And you are on your way. You're going to walk a beat for the rest of your life and be watched night and day. Come on, lay off them. When did I get it myself? You busted into a warehouse yourself? That's right. I'll talk to you too long. Show me. That's to... right. I had a good reason for it. Now look, there's something going into that consulate on a regular basis. It's imported cartons with the contents unmarked. And it's going in tonight. So, something's going into the consulate. Could be anything. Paprika to soak. Come on. Think dirty, Lieutenant. I think something a retired cop named Wakeman found out about and tried to report and got killed for trying. Bull. Straight bull. You guys are playing guessing games and I gotta tell the commissioner why two cops broke into a warehouse and beat up two citizens. I told you I did it myself. Shut up! Take a look. A good long look. Twenty years on the job, and that's a long ways from thirty, which means that I go down the drain for no one. You got that? No one! You jumped into the sewer yourselves? Start swimming. Valentine will. Get down
Be quiet now. Hold it. Upstairs. to protect my property? Lieutenant. Oh, then this was done with your approval, Lieutenant, huh? What's all this stuff on the table? Now, to my knowledge, it is not a crime to have gems on a table. Is it, Lieutenant? Smuggling, huh? What about smuggling, you weasel? You don't let anyone upstairs. I said no reporters, and that's final. Well, what did the diamond cutters tell you? They said they didn't even know where they were. They were brought to the consulate, blindfolded. According to them, they were just hired to cut and polish diamonds, which were brought in in those uh, wine cartons. One of the times that Vice Counsel Luba was in charge of me. Should make your next ten years go pretty easy. I'll see that you are mentioned in my report. Nice. There's still somebody missing. My man. Somebody's gotta come for those diamonds. Maybe 
waited this long. Might as well as wait for Renee to wake up. Renee, Renee. That's that short girl I live with, isn't it? You know, at least I got a call to tell her who I spent the night with. No. Still got a punch in, huh? What are you worrying about, huh? As long as you're with me, you know. That's what she really worries. <laughs> Don't blow it. 